What's up everyone, this is Sam. Welcome back to another video on Sam's AWS Learning Series. Let's explore AWS SNS together. If time permits, I'm gonna have a short uh, lab session as well. Let me start it, uh, with uh, saying this. If you are preparing for uh, AWS Solution Architect Associate exam, you just need uh, the concepts. It's not mandatory to have uh, an in-depth knowledge on uh, AWS SNS, but then again, the key concepts, it's better if you know them. And again, you will be facing scenario based questions wherein uh, SNS can be used. And uh, if you know the concepts, you could easily answer them. Here are some of the reference links. You could find them in the description below. If you would like to explore more on uh, this topic, you can always read them. AWS SNS, SNS stands for uh, Simple Notification Service. It's a flexible, fully managed pub sub messaging and mobile notification service for coordinating the delivery of messages to subscribing endpoints and clients. In simple words, it sends out notification to endpoints and you get to define the endpoints. It can be anything, can be mobile devices, can be your Lambda function, can be your application and so on. With SNS, you can fan out messages to large number of subscribers, including distributed systems and service and mobile devices as well. You might ask, what is this PubSub messaging system? I'm gonna cover that in the next slide. It's very easy to set up, operate and reliable send notification to all your endpoints at any scale. You can use SNS through AWS Management Console. You can use it via command line interface of AWS or even uh, with the help of AWS SDK. The advantage with SNS is uh, it has this, you know, centralized console. You just need uh, to log into that uh, AWS console or uh, through any any method. I'm not you know gonna say that you have to be there on the AWS console. This SNS, it's a b better version. It's, it's much cleaner, very less noise. So it eliminates the complexity and overhead associated with managing and operating dedicated messaging software and infrastructure. These are the main functionalities of our SNS. Amazon uh, provides SNS pub sub messaging system. And then along with that, uh, we have this SNS mobile notification push based uh, notification service. Uh, pub sub messaging, it decouples and uh, scale microservices, distributed systems and serverless applications. In real world, uh, we have these huge applications which are uh, segregated into smaller blocks. And uh, within these, you know, smaller blocks, you need some sort of you know uh, messaging or communication you could you know easily use or uh, deploy sns for that so it helps you to decouple and uh, scale microservices or distributed systems and serverless applications and, and then sns mobile notification this is the era of mobile uh, devices we use you know a hell lot of applications which use this push notification push based notification system sns it does support uh, push notifications and sms to mobile devices pub sub messaging uh, it's a short uh, form for publish and subscribe messaging in modern cloud architecture applications are decoupled into smaller independent building blocks that are easier to develop deploy and maintain PubSub messaging provides instant event notifications for these distributed applications PubSub enables event driven architectures and uh, asynchronous parallel processing while improving performance reliability and scalability so you have a topic when I say topic, it's just a communication channel. We have publisher and subscriber. Publisher is the guy who will be posting messages into the topic. And then subscriber, those people who are subscribed to the topic, they will be receiving those notifications. The moment publisher publish the notification, it does this push activity. It never polls. Remember, pull based system it was or poll based system it was uh, SQS Amazon SQS and then SNS it's a push based uh, system so publisher they post the message onto the topic and subscriber based on uh, their you know subscription status they will be receiving the message and then mobile notification for this as well we use uh, SNS extensively SNS mobile notification makes it simple and cost effective to send push notification to iOS, Android, FireOS, Windows and uh, Beidou based devices. You see the extended uh, support, right? It covers almost all the devices or the platforms. And with the SNS, uh, it's easy to send updates, promos or news to individual users, a subset of users or all of your users using a single message. So the publisher, uh, they will publish the message onto the SNS topic and then 
your endpoint based on your endpoint or the platform device platform you will be receiving the push notifications you might be wondering what what are the you know real world use cases you know this a hike messenger right so they they use this aws or sns and functionality you use topics decouple a message publishers from subscribers fan out messages to multiple recipient at once and eliminate polling in your application polling when we are talking about polling remember it's all about uh, aws sqs sns supports a variety of subscription types allowing you to push messages directly to sqs queues aws lambda function and http endpoints aws services such as uh, amazon ec2 s3 cloudwatch can publish messages to your sns topic to trigger event driven compute computing and uh, workflows SNS work with uh, SQS to provide a powerful messaging solution for building cloud application that are uh, fault tolerant and easy to scale. You can just imagine, right? The moment you club SNS with SQS, possibilities are almost like endless. Let's uh, talk about a simple situation wherein um, you have this SNS deployed into your uh, application setup and uh, your CloudWatch uh, uh, monitoring system it detects uh, high CPU usage. If we have programmed sns in such a way that uh, if i are a mail or an sms or a push based notification to one of your devices yes it will be doing that uh, upon uh, detecting that sort of scenario and then maybe you can instead of you know feeding the output from sns into your mobile devices you could uh, couple it with uh, aws lambda function and we can program aws lambda to do some some sort of uh, actions or workflows based on the cpu performance or uh, utilization hope it does not confuse you uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or queries and then benefits and use cases are push based system and it provides uh, almost instantaneous delivery some of the popular uh, services such as uh, hike messenger uh, yelp they use uh, aws sns let's do a simple uh, lab wherein we will be you know logging into aws console and then uh, let's uh, create a topic we will uh, uh, subscribe to that particular uh, topic and maybe we can you know publish a message and let's see how it works log into your aws console sns it's placed under messaging let's get into sns management console On the dashboard, you have these options, create topic, uh, platform application, subscription, and publish message. Since we don't have anything, let's uh, start with creating a topic. As I said, topic, it's a communication channel to send messages and uh, subscribe to notifications. Topic name, let's call it our uh, daily quotes. Let's give the same display name as well. Let's click on create topic and uh, there it is your uh, topic is created you don't have any subscriptions right if you have subscriptions active subscriptions you will be able to see it over here under subscription what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna click on create subscription i'm gonna change it to email endpoint since we have selected email let's go with um, my email address Sam the cloud guy at uh, gmail.com click on create subscription and the confirmation mail will be sent to the email id which you have provided and you could see the status over here it is pending for confirmation go to your inbox you will be receiving a message asking you to confirm click on that link and uh, it will take you to this page wherein the subscription it says subscription is confirmed you can see the topic name as well daily quotes and if you are not interested it has an option to you know un unsubscribe which is clean and neat let's go back to aws sns dashboard and then let's refresh this now you can see that uh, it's, it does not say anything like a uh, pending confirmation it has an active subscription id and the protocol is email endpoint you can see the email address what we will do next is we will publish something onto the topic let's click on publish a message let's say daily quote one i'm 
I'm gonna go with a uh, row message format. It has this JSON uh, format support. Let's go with uh, this start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. You have this option to provide the TTL time to leave. Enter a TTL value in seconds. The same TTL value will apply to all mobile platforms. Let's not uh, do that. Let's click on publish message. Message published. And within no time you will receive uh, the quote or the message which you have sent from uh, the console and it's going to look like this the display name it's daily quote and then uh, that the subject it says daily quote one make sure to delete uh, the topic you have created key thing to remember is it's a push based uh, notification service it has a support for uh, multiple endpoints try to draw a clear line between uh, aws sns and uh, sqs push based system and then queue based system it depends upon uh, your scenario the application when to use what sort of messaging system with that let's uh, wind up the video give a thumbs up if you really like this effort i have this facebook page if you have any questions or queries uh, send a message over there a response to that will be a lot quicker compared to the youtube comments thanks for your support guys without that I don't think uh, even you know posting this much video is possible. I'm really grateful to you for that. I'll be seeing you in the next video with a new topic. Until then, take care guys. Bye.